We're on our way to our last play date with our friends this morning before we move tomorrow. Luna is very excited. So we've just left our friend's house and that was a really hard what? goodbye. What? Um, what? We've been our close friend for a very long time. What? and a, Can you wait please? A great support in this city. So that was a, that was a tough one. That's gonna be, we're gonna miss those guys a lot. <laughs> a lot. Here's the deal. I just came into Soho to pick up some new shoes. These ones. met up with a friend for a coffee and then once I was done with all of that now I'm heading home oh wait I also went to Glossier for fee now I'm on my way back home the problem is what well, I had my board plugged in charging while I was getting coffee with my mate and I just realized that the place the, the plug that it was plugged into didn't work so it actually got no charge the entire time and I'd used up 50% on my way in, which means it's gonna be really tight getting home on the level of charge that I currently have. Easily the most frustrating thing, or like, no, the most dangerous thing about riding across the Williamsburg Bridge not just on a skateboard, I think, but even a even a, a bicycle or, or whatever, any sort of any sort of vehicle across this bridge. The most dangerous thing is tourists on those city bikes. And I know I'm not the first person to complain about tourists on city bikes. I know this is not a hot take or a new take. Plenty of people have had this take before me, and plenty will have it again after me. People that just haven't been on a bike in years have no real concept of how to ride a bike anymore. And they get here, they jump on a bike, they're like, oh, we're gonna ride the Williamsburg Bridge, let's get bikes. And then they just do these like swervy ones, backwards and forwards across the path. And they're riding incredibly slow. And you're like, oh, I'm gonna go around them and get a, you know, pass, you know, move over into that lane and pass. And then just as you're about to go past them, they go, whoa, and swerve out into that other lane. I uh, just came very close to injuring myself very badly. I'm sure they're lovely people. I'm sure all they're here is like having their dream New York holiday and they want to see that skyline, you know, that one back over there from the bridge and, you know, very, but it's just, it's dangerous. What are they doing there? Well, I'm on the bike riding side. There's just pedestrians just wandering around taking photos on it. Uh, I'm gonna stop my whinging now. You guys don't care about me whinging and complaining about whether or not somebody can ride a bike. Enough of me. That beeping light means I'm down to like five or 10%. I can't remember what, which of the two it means, but it means low, low battery. And I'm still, I don't know. Half a mile from home, something like that. Further than I would like to be with a flashing light. All right, I made it. I made it home. Uh, I have, hang on, stand by. Uh, that is how much it's saying I have left. It's saying that I have 0% battery. Which can't be quite right because it's still turned on but I believe that is the, I guess I just pushed that to about its limit. Last final few boxes all coming together. These in our room, sorting some stuff out, Luna's coloring, watching a bit of TV and putting things in boxes. Mostly reorganizing camera gear after the weddings the last week, um, making sure we have the bits that we need and want to hold on to while we're traveling and when we first get to LA, and then making sure the bits that we don't need until we actually get into our actual house because we don't have a house when we first get there, we're just staying in an Airbnb. Making sure I have what I need for there and then I'm rambling a little bit, aren't I? The movers come tomorrow. We felt super organized up until about this point and all of a sudden now, I don't think we feel particularly organized. Hey mate, what are you doing? Packing the knives. No, nah, it looks like you're cutting cardboard. To protect the knives, you're welcome. It's really hard. We're making progress. I don't know if it looks like it to you guys in the background, but like these were all open and partially filled and now they're pretty much all filled. What's that? We're gonna leave that there. I'm about to go pick up a parcel that we weren't here for yesterday, so I've gotta go 
pick it up at some other location. You wanna go out push? You wanna go? I just spent an unnecessary amount of time on the phone with Time Warner trying to organize to have our internet disconnected. I got there in the end, it's all happening. So I should have done a much more comprehensive vlog about this, but I didn't, I just opened it because I was excited. But I won a competition on Instagram recently with a company called Tweezer Man, which just do like tweezers and beauty products and the like. And it arrived today, which is lucky because we move tomorrow. Um, such cool stuff and I am gonna be kept in tweezers for years to come. I shouldn't have to buy any more for ages. I got a mirror, some packs of tweezers, face sponges, other tweezers, sponges, these cleanser things, which are amazing. This thing is so soft. That thing, that thing, you know, stuff and stuff. Right? So cool. I don't think I've ever won a Facebook, I mean an Instagram competition before. How is that sky though? Majestic, so majestic. I'm just going to pick up some dinner and I was real tempted to, I was real tempted to put the drone up in the air for a quick fly just to get that sky, but we're running short on, on time for Luna before uh, it's her bedtime. So I'm going to get dinner. Um, man, that is so nice, that sky. It's been overcast all day and it's like cleared just enough towards the end of the day. So that, you know, there's that is just beautiful oranges hitting out as the sun sets. It is our last dinner in our New York home. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow the movers come and we're in a hotel tomorrow night. Uh, we're having Jean, I think it's called Jean Famous Foods. Jean Fine Foods, Famous Foods. Famous. Uh, it's a amazing, um, I think it's Szechuan. Uh, Chinese noodle place. They've got a few stores here in New York. Um, Matt and Lai introduced us to them. Thank you, Matt and Lai. Um, and it's become a favorite of ours. They were sold out tonight of what Fee normally gets. So. Yeah, just my luck. Our last night eating jams and they don't have my, my noodle dish. Also, I got home and realized I'd forgotten to get cutlery because like they don't just put it in the bag. You gotta go grab your cutlery um, before you leave and I forgot. So I had to go to our local bodega and ask for a fork. Tell you what, it's not quite the same with a fork. Mm. <laughs> It's so yum. Is it good? Is your dinner yummy? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, mate. Hey, I don't have pants on. Fee's cutting a vlog. I'm just about to sit down and, I don't know, send a couple of emails. I just went and got our laundry. It's the last night. Our very last night in what has been our New York home for the last, what is it, year and year and a month, year and two months, something like that. Almost three months that we've been here. Year and three months. Um, I don't, don't want to get too sentimental about it. I think it's one of those, like, we're, the, we're moving to where we ultimately, for a very long time, have wanted to end up one day. And yes, 100% there's gonna be things about New York we miss. First and foremost, some of the most amazing friends that we have live here. We've made some new ones. Some old friends already lived here. Um, and, and we're gonna miss them incredibly. Um, and then secondly, great places to eat and hanging out in, you know, Washington Square Park in beautiful weather or going for, you know, a walk along the West Side Highway or whatever. They're all things that we will miss. But we will come back to New York and visit New York plenty of times. But we're moving to LA. LA has been the end goal, the dream. They're like, I don't know how it's gonna happen, but one day it's gonna happen. That's, that's where we go from here. But before we do that, tomorrow night we stay in a hotel near the airport. Then the day after that, we fly from New York to Barbados. We're in Barbados for a week while we sort visa stuff. We come back to New York for one night and one night only, and then we move to LA. So we'll see you tomorrow for kind of our final day in New York. Bye.